Hello everyone, welcome to another Toon Boom Harmony tutorial. My name is Frank Summers. In this episode, I'm going to talk about selection presets. This is explicit to Harmony 14. Uh, I do not believe it exists in previous versions, so if you have Harmony 14, why don't you check it out. That said, let's hop into Harmony. Uh, what you need to do first is to show your scripting toolbar. And as we've discussed in previous tutorials, you can almost right click in, in most empty spaces and you can go down to scripting to show it if it's not already shown. And there it's scripting toolbar right up here. You can click the first icon, a little F with an arrow, to pull up the manager, the scripting manager, scripts manager, excuse me. And these are all the scripts that come already preloaded in Harmony. And if you don't really know what this, if you haven't ever been in here, it's worth your time going through here and exploring and checking out a lot of this stuff. Some of it I don't know myself because I don't really need have a need for it. But if we see, if we scroll down, we will find selection presets. We click that, come over to the functions column, TB selection preset, and then click the next arrow to pop it into our toolbar. And then just hit OK. You'll see an extra little gear has just popped up here. And if you hover over top of it, you'll get a little tooltip telling you what the script is. So we want selection preset. We click that. And it pulls up our little selection preset box. Right now it's empty. There's nothing inside of it. And what this allows us to do is to store any uh, selection, be it a layer, be it a bone, or an articulation, or a peg, or a mesh warp. And it will allow us to stick it in this little box over here for handy dandy quick reference. So let's just grab something off the top of our head. Let's just do something simple like the ear because it's right there. And if with it selected, we go over to our selection preset manager, click this little plus guy, give it a hot second and give it a name, ear, we'll just call it ear, and hit OK. It'll appear in our list over here as a name. And if I just select off to deselect it, with our transform tool, select, transform tool selected, we can double click in here and it will grab our layer. Now, right now, it's kind of a bit of a no-brainer because the ear is right here. It's almost very e It's just as easy for me to select the ear, but what this allows us to do is to make selections that are often buried or inside the hierarchy or sometimes that are obscured by other layers or just things that we commonly grab a lot. So, for example, an, a head. So, in this case, I had to, in order to navigate up by pushing B, and shift B to navigate down the hierarchy. I had to hit that several times in order to get to the head peg. But I can just click the little plus sign. I can call it head peg. Hit OK. And I'm going to just deselect it. Then by double clicking, it's automatically grabbing our head peg. Very handy. And we can make a nice list of commonly used selections down here uh, that we can just refer to over and over again. Um, so what I'd like to point out next is that the first time you add a selection to this, I'm going to delete this one. We can hit delete to make it go away. It adds a little note over here called selection preset note. Um, so what this is, is it's storing the script information that Harmony is referring to. If we click the, the little yellow box, it pulls up the script. Uh, we cannot, ch as of right now, as of this recording, we cannot change the name of this selection preset note. It will break the script. However, we can kind of alter some of the text in the script to help point Harmony in the right direction of where we are looking for. Uh, I'm going to close that for one second. And what that means is, what I can do is, ahead of time, I can put a selection preset note inside of every main comp. Comp. <laughs> I'm not in After Effects inside every main group cut go inside of my group let's go down to the bottom I like putting it at the bottom that's just my particular and I can stick it at the bottom and now if I try to double click my ear it's grabbing it that's because it's, I have to refresh it if I was to grab put this into a new scene it would refresh and now that I'm hitting it it's not I'm double clicking it it's no longer working it's because I kind of broke the association I need to click my yellow square again, and I just need to kind of point Harmony into the right direction of where to look. This is very similar to using your operating system, uh, where to look for files. So right now, the selection preset thinks it needs to go into the group called Ogre, 
and then it will find the ear. However, it's already inside of Ogre, so it does not need to look into Ogre. It's looking for a group called Ogre inside of wherever it exists. So all we need to do is just delete Ogre and just have ear, hit close, hit refresh that script again, double click, and now it will find the ear. For any preset we had, we add from here on out, like so for example, just the brow, I'll hit the brow, brow, left. It will automatically add, it will automatically look to the proper group. So um, I popped back into my script and right now it already knows that selection preset note is hanging out inside of our ogre group. So it knows that the layer that I just added the selection preset that I just added is within that root. So that means I could save this and if I had ostensibly if I had a whole library of characters they all could have their own selection preset note hiding inside of their master group. And as I bring them in they will be added to the list. And that is where the group column comes into play. It's telling us where this particular selection preset is hanging out. And again, so this can go pretty deep. Um, you know, we could go, I have some deformation on this lip. So I mean, I could even just click on this, this particular deform right here. Let's pick this one instead so we can actually see it. Uh, I'm going to add that. I'm just going to call it mouth deform bone. Uh, you know, I have no idea what number bone that is off the top of my head, but I'm just going to hit OK. And if I deselect off, then double click again it's grabbing that bone I don't know if you can see it in the recording but it's grabbing that bone and again this is, comes into play if something's hiding or it's, it's like let there's a layering issue going on and it makes it hard to grab you can do it like that it makes it easy to grab uh, so that's gonna wrap it up for this um, Toon Boom Harmony tutorial I hope you have any questions please put them in the comments below um, you're gonna see a couple of links in front of you there hit that subscribe button and to subscribe to my channel and I also do the Wednesday lunch live sketch every Wednesday at 12 noon please check that out it would be great to have you there otherwise check out the recording in the that will be put the recording will be posted to my channel thanks for coming guys and have a good one